So if you're coming from, like I, I lived in America for almost 20 years, and it is about money. Mm. If you're going from that mindset then into a circle of titles and royal lineage and tradition, mm. how does one adjust to thrive in the other? Well, the Duchess of Windsor married, managed it very well, may I say. I used to know the Duke and Duchess of Windsor slightly. And, you know, there's a lot of misinformation about her because, of course, the victors write history. Uh, although more and more of it is coming out now. But the Duchess of Windsor is a woman who gave up the right to a two and a half million dollar fortune in the early 1930s to marry for love. Her uncle disinherited her for doing it. That was a great fortune in those days. She then married the Duke of Windsor, who she didn't want to marry. She wanted to be his mistress, remain married to Ernest Simpson. She did not want to marry him. Her worst nightmare came true when he gave up the throne and married her. But she became the archetypal royal duchess. She entertained in the most beautiful. She was regarded as the finest hostess on earth. She, it was not about money. It was about replicating what her husband had given up for her. And she did it in an exemplary fashion. There are loads of Americans like Wallace Windsor, Princess Grace. Princess Grace, it was not about money. It was not about merching herself. Uh, you know, when she was offered the role of Marnie and she wanted to accept it, and Prince Rainier said, no, you can't, it's not suitable. Even though it, this wasn't about money, this was going to be about fame and doing something she really loved, she understood she couldn't do it. Later in her life, she came up with a more acceptable version, which was poetry readings, which she do for charity. So the fact that Meghan is an American who is money hungry doesn't mean that all Americans are money hungry. I know many Americans who it's not all about money alone. There is a category of not only American, but of person in the world that it is only about money. These, I would submit, are really rather low individuals with very little vision. Because if life is all about money, and, and also if life is only about achieving what you want, you miss many of the lessons in life, which are sometimes you need to make the best of what you have been given, and then it turns into something completely different and that you then enjoy and like.